Have you ever thought about making to Munich in Germany? Maybe for the Oktoberfest, you know, the beer festival which is famous in the world. Or just for a beautiful day like today. So I have here my mountain bike, I'm sprinting around the city and I'm gonna show you all of the best areas to stay, starting from the Altstadt, the old part of the city. And I will show you lots of footage about all of the areas. So stay with me and let's get into this video. And here I am in the Altstadt of Munich, the old part of the city, the historical center. I'm right in, into one of the hidden secrets of the historical center. It's a backyard into the residential palace that you can access and you can, I can show you how. But what I wanted to show you is that you see all of these buildings, like the residential building here, they have been all rebuilt about 80 years ago, then it's after the Second World War because Munich was heavily bombed in the Second World War. But it has been all rebuilt with the beautiful accuracy of details. And even if all has been painted, you see that here there is no basso relief, it's all painted. I tell you, if you see it from a distance of 10, 20 meters, all looks real, all looks like neo-gothic style, you know, 16th, 17th and 18th centuries buildings. But I wanted to show you more what I do, I'm gonna take my bike and I'm gonna bike you all around the Altstadt so you can see more of the city. Now, why do you want to stay in the historical part of uh, the Munich? Because probably you want to be close to everything, you know, most of the sightseeing is really here into the historical part. There is only one drawback about being in the historical part of the city, which is the cost of accommodation a little bit higher than the average. But I'll show you a couple of little secrets where you stay. And by the way, I've written a full post about where to stay in Munich. I'm going to put the link down here. And that's where you can find, you know, again, all of the areas, a map of the areas I'm talking about in these videos, and also a few suggestions on hotels. But let's get straight into the historical part of Munich. Show you a little bit of uh, Munich Altstadt around. I went to Marienplatz, which is the heart of Altstadt, the heart of Munich. 
and now I'm going to the next little secret which is the Vitralia market actually it's not a little secret it's a well-known place it's a market of the city the old market where you can buy lots of food at actually very good price um, if you have to buy fruit and vegetable probably is not the most convenient place to go but there are plenty of supermarkets in the next area I'm gonna show you and uh, let's go into the Vitralia market usually it's jam-packed with uh, a sunny day especially later in the day now it's morning so I don't expect many people around we have found our way it's a brand new day and we'll be making history are you with me won't you stay we have come so far this is who we Just begun to play our part This is the time we form the chorus Lift your voice for those before us We can rely on one another Feel the pride, let's show Leave the Victorian Market, direction west, and you will be in the Gatner Platz area. Uh, that's the square that I am currently in. It's a beautiful area that you can visit if you want to go to restaurants, cafes, and uh, uh, you know, boutique shops, for example, where you can find some cool stuff from Bavaria, mostly local products. And uh, do you want to stay here? Absolutely. This is a fantastic place because you know you end up into the local life and. Um, if you know your next step actually to all of the bars for the night and the restaurants too uh, price wise uh, it's a little bit probably cheaper than the historical town uh, but you won't be straight into the sizing of the city and um, urban and s-bahn they are not as close as when you are in the historical city so there is a little bit of a drawback but not too much I would suggest this area if you're after you know nightlife after nice little cafes for the days that's a perfect place to be and I'm gonna suggest one hotel which I really like next to my home and I will be into the video description and and into the post that I'm gonna put the link but let's check out this part of the city we have found our way it's a brand new And I am here now in Lea. You can feel how it's quiet this area. Absolutely fantastic. And it's perfect if you want to have a little bit of, uh, you know, 
peaceful time here in Munich but you're still so close to the Hauptstadt to the center where we have just seen and you're really stone away from the English Garden which is uh, the biggest urban park in Europe amazing uh, I will show you a few also footage of uh, people surfing uh, an artificial wave and uh, what do you want to stay in this area well my suggestion is really if you want to have a quiet time or you know if you're spending some time with the family with the kids you can leave the kids in the street as you see uh, no there's no traffic uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, but you have to give up you know the nightlife restaurants not as many i will show you a few and um, totally for that you have to go to the altstadt And here I am in the budget destination of Munich, which is the area of Albanov and Theresienwiese. This is where you can find probably the cheapest hotels and sometimes amazing values like the one I have here on the back, which I really love, it's called Cocoon. I'm gonna put a link into the video description. And why do I like it? Because <laughs> they made an incredible effort with interior design, which looks like uh, German Alps uh, uh, resort, uh, amazing. Uh, but besides that, how about area? How is it? Well, look, it's probably the area that is a little bit more dodgy than anywhere else in uh, Munich. But that's expected, uh, you know, in any main city in uh, Europe, you have a dodgy uh, main station. That's a typical rule of thumb in uh, Europe. And besides that, it's a bit noisy. You know, streets are really uh, busy in this part of the city and also the design you know the buildings is very 70s there is no much charm or romantic feeling when you walk in this area but in saying that you can get great bargains like this cocoon and you are walking distance to the uh, Altstadt the historical center uh, by foot it takes about you know 10 minutes no more than that also the restaurants around the area are cheaper you know everything is cheaper and you're really five minutes from the Theresien Wiese area where the Oktoberfest is uh, end of September I've organized some footage for you of this area so you can have a feeling and then we go to the next area across the river <laughs> I'm uh, riding my bike now here into the island, one of the islands actually that Munich has along the Isar River. 
and that's the island where you find the Deutsche Museum which is probably one of the most uh, popular museums for families but not only because you can find plenty of things to do see and experience there are other two areas i wanted to talk to it's, uh, the first one is high dozen which is on the other side of the river and uh, the second one is schwabing which is on uh, uh, close to the english garden they are far away from here it takes about probably seven to ten minutes by Uber by S-Bahn. I've wrote about it into my post and you will see a link into the video description. Both areas work fine, they are absolutely cool, but unfortunately they are not too close to the Altstadt. They are not walking distance at least. And that's pretty much it about this video. I really hope you enjoyed and let me know with a finger up and the bell subscribe to the channel the usual stuff just i want to see if you like these videos with the bicycle uh, footage okay i see you in the next one cheers mm -hmm.